I do not care what people say about Muslims. I love them. I appreciate them. They've helped me. And they would defend their religion at any time. You can never speak against the Quran. You can never speak against the Prophet Muhammad. S W T. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you can never speak against the Prophet Muhammad and go scot free. They protect the Quran and their Prophet with their lives. As a Christian, okay most of the friends that i have had in my life as a human being 90 percent of them are muslims and today i am here to share with you what me achawa as a christian i have learned from my muslim friends when i was in university i had a friend she's muslim that girl was a friend when i needed a friend and as i'm speaking to you today i have another muslim friend in my life zoo she's a friend so for me, I do not care what people say about Muslims. I love them. I appreciate them. They've helped me. They've been there for me. And I, I absolutely cherish their relationship. Even with partners that I work with, they are Muslims. The first thing that I've learned from Muslims is the act of giving. The sunnah, dua. I don't want to lie. See, Muslims are cheerful givers. They actually have a whole festival, which is a sunla, where they kill animals and give us offering. As a Christian, what I've learned from that is that I do not have to wait to give alms. Like every day is alms given day. Number two is Muslim pray five times a day. As a Christian, excuse me. As a Christian, what that teaches me is that I do not have to wait till a Sunday to pray every day i can pray like every day i can pray so for instance when i sit in my car i pray when i go to work i pray i pray where three years they have taught me cleanliness so when i was in uni a friend of mine taught me how to wash after peeing and that has been my 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 hygiene one-on-one -on -one, how to be fresh all the time and I fell in love with this when I was traveling for three days. So I did a lot of travel and I realized that when I got to my destination, I was still fresh because I practiced that. I can't say much about it because I think if you have a Muslim friend, they should teach you that particular one. It's a lifesaver act of submission. See, Muslim women are feminine women. They dress feminine. They talk feminine. They act feminine and they understand that the man is the head of the family. Let me tell you something. My mom is Muslim and I have a cousin called Dan. So one time we were sleeping on the bed, okay, and he has a separate bed and my grandmother and I were sleeping on the bed. So my, mother, my grandma got up and he was supposed to sleep beside me. So I thought that I was the, the oldest because I'm older than him. Do you know what he told me? He said no. He wants to sleep at the edge of the bed so that he can protect me because he is a man. And if anything comes into the room, it should face him first. I'm like, wow. If a young Muslim guy is telling me that he has to protect me because he's a man. I'm not saying Christians. You see, I don't want you to get this. I'm not comparing Christianity to Islam. No, I am just telling you that as a Christian living with Muslims and being friends with Muslims, what I have learned from them and how I am. I am I am I'm practicing it in my Christian life so I I when I am in I, I I'm working with men I I am with a man I make sure that I choose men who can lead me because when I get into that zone I allow the man to be a man the next thing I learned is that Muslim women are very domestic they clean they wash they cook that is why I'll go back that as a woman you should know how to do all these things so that when you decide to choose a man you can do all these things for them Muslim women dress modest I'm not saying you should cover your hair you could realize that I love wearing skirt you know yesterday my friend was like hey actually we need to go I love wearing skirt like Muslim ladies have taught me that I can actually dress covered up but still look hot and sexy like you are decently dressed and you look good another thing i learned from them is their level of honesty see their loyalty lies at one place and it doesn't change see my friend when i was in uni carol 
she was there for me 24 7. there are times that i'll do something she would defend me outside when we come and say you know i have learned from them that their loyalty does not lie to places so as a person i need to be loyal to one particular thing and they would defend their religion at any time you can never speak against the quran you can never speak against the prophet muhammad s w t i don't know what that means <laughs> You can never speak out against the Prophet Muhammad and go scot free. They protect the Quran and their Prophet with their lives. Last thing is, Islam is a, a religion of peace. They love peace and they spread love. So, to all Muslims down there, I want you to comment Salaamu Alaikum, Mashallah. Ah, let me tell you, I, there's one thing I learned. Stuff the law. God, inshallah. I love salam alaikum. I love my alaikum salah. I love inshallah. I love mashallah. And then the last one is stuff the law. I forgot to write. Bye.